But just start by saying, what's your sort of uh, passion and interest lie in, in, in costumes? What's brought you along here tonight? Well, my personal um, passion is uh, costumes for science fiction films, which I think where costume designers, you know, are, are able perhaps sometimes to have a bit more free reign, and that can actually actually have a bit more license to, to put their own stamp on things. And in particular in this expo exhibition, there's the uh, costumes from Blade Runner, which is a particular favourite of mine. And there's, um, uh, you know, there's classic kind of futuristic retro design, which I think really uh, sort of nailed it in the film and almost gives the film a, a, a sort of almost an authentic feel as, as, as much as you can with science fiction. And I think it was a, a, a masterpiece of, of design and retro futuristic styling. So I mean, how much do you think we rely on, on costumes in sort of sci-fi and films set in, in worlds that aren't actually real to, to create a kind of a feeling and an atmosphere for the place we're supposed to be? Well, that's right. I mean, it, it's difficult. It's a very difficult brief because, of course, you know, now film is, is, is you know, we, we've seen a lot of science fiction now and there's a danger that it becomes uh, cliched. You know, we've seen a lot of suits, you know, we've seen a lot of, sort of spacey type suits and almost, you know, you can refer back to these things in a way. And, and I think that the, the challenge is making it look authentic and making it feel that these are costumes that people would wear and not have just been put on them by a designer. And as for the shirt itself, when you see uh, you know, items like Dor Dorothy's uh, shoes and, and, and the likes of Indiana Jones costume, do you think it almost brings you cl as close to the films as you can get? I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I think that uh, you know, these, these have become iconic items in, uh, in the world of you know, costume. And I think that you know, coming to an exhibition like this, is, a, is a, for any film fan, is just going to be a, a treasure trove. And just finally, as yourself, as an actor, when you uh, first sort of find out what costume you're going to be wearing, have you got much say in, in, can you say to them, no, I don't like that, and sort of adjust it in any way? Yeah, up to a point, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, if, if it, it, I, I mean, if I play a bewildered farmer, there's a good chance I'll be wearing an old tweed jacket and a hat. So I can't really get out of that. I can't wear speedos, a cape, and, uh, you know, a, 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 a sort of like a Burberry burka. Um, but uh, you can you can have a, an imp you know a, a choice and in influence over the detail you know and, and those are the little things that make it yours. And then if someone did write a part for you where you had to wear speedos and a cape, is, it, is that something you'd be interested in? Yeah, obviously I'm holding out for that. Amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. Enjoy your evening. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers.